After having put thousands of hours into maxing not only a normal Iron Man account, but also a hardcore Iron Man account, I set myself a goal to be the first person in RuneScape to max all three Iron Man game modes. I'm now attempting to tackle one of Old School's most difficult challenges, maxing an Ultimate Iron Man. This is my road to maxing every Iron Man mode. What is up everyone, welcome to episode number 55 of the Ultimate Iron Man series. In the last one, I worked on doing diaries, and I finished all the way up into the Hard Desert Diary, which got me access to making unfinished potions, and also finished the Easy and Medium Diaries for Falador. And I'm working my way through the Hard Diary right now, I only have one thing left to do, and that is to get this full Prospector and enter the mining guild. Since I haven't been here before, I do need to use the lower level. I don't think it's gonna be worth buying the upper level since that's pretty much all the nuggets I'm gonna need for Prospector. So the entirety of my time will be spent on the lower level. Here's a little update so far. I'm up to 61 nuggets and I've gained 140K mining XP. Also, as you guys could probably have guessed by now, when I check the sack to clear it, I just have to drop all of the ore from it. So I did previously mention this is gonna take between 13 and 15 hours. I've only been doing this for like three hours and I'm already one third the way there. So if it keeps it this pace it'll only take me around 10. I was hoping to get this level recorded when I got the drop. Uh, thankfully I do still have the level up here. I got more XP from putting the ore into the thing than I was expecting to. Uh, but there is another mining level, and I'm almost at 136 of 180 gold nuggets, so I need 44 more. And if I had to guess, that's probably going to take me three more hours. And there it is, 181 total nuggets. So from this whole ordeal, I gained 445,000 mining XP, uh, put me 30% from the next level as well. So let's go ahead and buy all of this prospector gear now. It's a helmet, jackets, legs, and boots. So I need to enter the mining guild with these now and I'll be completely done with the diaries. There it is, all of the hard diaries completed, and I'm gonna go and collect my XP lamps. I really don't know how much XP I'm gonna get in Herb from all these, but let's add them up. 2,500, 7,500, so that's 10K, and this should be at 15, so 25K more XP. Uh, 55k away from 80 herb so i'm back in his spory now and i'm trying to figure out all the items that i'm going to need and what i'm not going to need originally i was just going to leave all the stuff in his spory uh so i didn't have to keep a looting bag in my inventory to give me one more inventory slot but uh, seeing as i have to do almost 4,000 mole there's always that chance i could zone out and accidentally die and i'd lose everything in here so i do want to stay safe with this uh, so I'm gonna go get a new looting bag, uh, and then I'll see you guys back then. All right, so into my looting bag now. I placed everything in here that I don't need, and I have everything on me and in my inventory. So I have two more things to do. I need to go and buy my fire making cape, which is a cape I'm gonna be wearing since it does act as a light source, and I need one of those to do mole. And the other thing is I need to head over to Barrows, go all the way down to the chest, and take out my DH from the storage. So the one thing I couldn't remember about this is if I put this in here fully repaired or broken. Thankfully, it is fully repaired, so I don't have to spend the money uh, for repairing it. As for my armor now, this is the full setup I'm going to be going with. I do need to uh, go and set up my inventory for this though. Okay, I have my whole inventory set up now. Uh, everything with my gear set up as well. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. If I am, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I have all my prey pots, super attacks, and staminas. One thing I'm really worried about here, I do not think 230 prey pots is going to be anywhere enough to get me the 4,000 kills I need. So I'll more than likely have to take a break between doing these kills, do more master farmer, and just farm some Renars as I go. As for how many potions to bring, I did mention to you guys a few clips ago that I'm going back through my previous videos to get an idea of how many I brought. It's a little bit different now because I don't have as many inventory spaces, so I'm just going to see how this goes uh, with the amount I brought, and I'll just update it as I go. Also, the last time I did this, I had to hop worlds since the mole took a long time to spawn they changed that so you can just camp one world now so it takes away from having to do that also a long time ago on this valley shield there was an option called locate and you'd have to press that all the time to find the mole and it automatically does it now so just overall it's a lot easier compared to when i did it before uh, i'm going to test an hour of this to see how many kills i can get so i can give you guys an estimate on how long overall this is going to take to do so it hasn't quite been an hour yet it's been 55 minutes i, I could probably still get like three maybe four more kills i am at 40 about to get 41 and i already had the one kill from the diary so uh, in 55 minutes, I got 40 total kills. It's looking like the amount of potions that I brought with me are a pretty good ratio, so I'm going to stick with it. Also, I figured I'd mention this. I know a lot of you already know about this. For the people that don't, um, instead of always having to use your rock cake to get yourself back to 1 HP, uh, if you simply flick rapid heal like that, like literally all you have to do is flick it that quick, once every minute, your HP will never go up. So instead of using the rock cake, uh, once per minute, I'll just flick rapid heal. I need to take a quick break from doing mole. I completely forgot to imbue my Berserker Ring again before I started doing this, and I really want that plus four strength bonus. So I need to get 650,000 more Nightmare Zone points for that. Uh, I already have my full DH on me and my Rock Cake, so I can just go over there and do that within an hour. Well, never mind. I don't need to do any Nightmare Zone because I already have 1.5 million points on me. So as easy as that, there's Berserker Ring imbued. I'm going to keep going with this, and I'll try to find some other place to give you guys an update. 
first update for you guys 282 kc right now i just woke up so without counting the diary kill i did uh, 280 total kills yesterday and so far i've used a total of 54 prayer potions so if i go ahead and do some uh, quick math with that i'm getting about five kills per prayer potion uh so in order for me to do 3700 i'm definitely gonna have to take a break and go get more i only have enough prey pots left over right now for like a thousand more kills so by the time i reach maybe like uh, 1,250 kills is when I'll have to take a break. Also, one more thing I haven't mentioned yet for Mole, you get U-Logs, and I'm going to be using these to make arrow shafts, and with the arrow shafts, of course, I'll make headless arrows, and I'll make broad arrows with those to get myself to 99 fletching, so... Uh, I don't know how many of these U-Logs I'm going to need total to get enough. I'll do the math on that, and I'll let you guys know uh, when I do the next update. Okay, there's another day of mold done. I'm up to 623 kills now, so I did about 340 yesterday. So an update on the U-Logs and how many I'm going to need. I need a total of around 13,100 to make all of the arrow shafts necessary. Uh, I already have 4,200, so it's looking like by the time I hit 1,800 KC, I'll have that. So I'll have more than enough U-Logs. I might even make some of these into longbows, so I don't have to make as many broad arrows, which means I'll use less GP. It's going pretty good so far, though. I'm not really getting too tired of it yet. It, uh, it is pretty AFK, to be honest. I can just leave my prayer up. I don't have to really worry about flicking much. Sometimes I'll flick Piety uh, to make it a little bit easier, but that does make it a little bit more tedious and... I feel like if I did that every kill, I'd get tired of this a lot quicker. So I guess I'll see you guys back at 1,000 kills or if I manage to get the mole pet. 1,000 kill count. Uh, I did want to give another update as well on what my prayer pots are at. I'm at 41 left right now. And uh, if you look at my inventory, you'll notice there is two things that are different. I started farming snapdragons, and I also have 50 volcanic ash for the rest of the ultra composts I need to make. I decided instead of going and doing master farmers to get renar seeds, I just used the snapdragon seeds that I already had on me since they restore prayer points as well and have like 300 snapdragon seeds. So there's really no point for me going and doing master farmer. Overall, I'm going to need to farm about 650 of these, so about 400 more. It's also really nice to be farming something other than toad flax. So I get pretty decent XP drops from this. I'm getting 100 XP per herb, and that did push me to 76 farming. And I'm also at a little bit over 300 snapdragons now. So I've officially run out of prayer potions. I'm up to 1,235 moles. So now what I need to do is go and get the secondaries I need in order to make these super restore potions. And of course, that is the red spider eggs. I did a test run just to make sure I know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with it. Um, so in order to get these red spider eggs noted, uh, you have to kill spideens in the Tower of Life. And in order to spawn them, you need to use one red spider egg and a raw sardine. Now I don't have the Fremenic sea boots. That would be a lot faster to teleport up here. So my only other method of getting these raw sardines is putting my house in Relica, teleporting there, leaving the portal, and running up here to this fishmonger. Uh, so I'm going to trade him and then buy seven raw sardines. I only have enough inventory space to do seven of each. So once I have those, I'm going to teleport back to my house. And then I'm just going to use my Mounted Glory to get to Edgeville. And I'm going to use the bank here to unnote my red spider eggs. Once I have those, I'm going to teleport to the monastery and run to the Tower of Life. Uh, it's a pretty quick process. I can still get like 600 of these per hour. I'm going to need a total of about 670 of them uh, to get all the resources I need to finish out all my mole kills. So I have to farm like 70 more snapdragons in order to be able to get enough. Overall though, the process isn't too bad. So I finished collecting all the red spider eggs. I need almost 700 of these. This is also going to be the first time I'm able to show you why I did the hard desert diary. For those of you that don't know, this NPC right here, if you bring noted vials of water and the herb that you want and you right click them, uh, for 200 GP per potion, you'll be able to get them instantly made into unfinished potions. Uh, and for me, that is about 130k just for these 643, so it is really expensive. Uh, but the overall, the time it saves is just super nice. I'm only able to do six of these potions at a time because I have so much stuff in my inventory. Already having these unnoted, though, takes away the whole process of having to make them uh, manually, so it saves a lot of time. So anything for Herb now that I do is just going to be a lot easier. All right, there's all of the potions made, 517 total super restores. So hopefully that'll be enough for all the kills I'm going to need to do. I also gained another 99,000 Herb XP, and I also got myself to level 80 Herb Lore. Uh, so yeah, with all that done, I can finally go back to grinding mole. Uh, it's been about two days since I did the last mole update. I think I had 1,200 kills in the last one, and now we're up to 2,000 total. 2,500 kills, so about 1,200 left to go. So really quick, I need to go and redo my inventory anyway. I figured I'd show you guys what I do. So once I run out of potions here, 
Uh, just teleport to my house. Uh, and then I use the pool, which will give me back my run energy and prayer, teleport back to Falador. And normally I'd take off six of the items I'm wearing, but right now I still have a stamina potion left, so I only need to take out five. Then I withdraw the super restores, equip three more items, and I pretty much just repeat the same thing. I just use them as the uh, placeholders so I can take out the right amount of potions. I'm getting pretty close now to the drop rate for the mole pet, though. It's one in 3,000, so uh, maybe I'll manage to get it by then. 3,000 mole kills. This is uh, the amount that I stopped at on my hardcore. Iron Man. It is also the drop rate for the mole pet, which sadly I haven't gotten yet. I do have 700 more kills to go though, so there is a chance I could still get it. Okay, I just got a dragon spear. It says it's a 1 in 10,000 drop rate on the wiki, so it's a pretty cool item and a pretty high drop rate to hit, but overall it's not anything useful. So per usual, since I play this game at super weird hours and most of the time I can't use my mic, a lot of these reactions I can't actually record when I get them, so... Uh, I got the baby mole here, 3,418 kills. I was honestly starting to think I was cursed on this account because I couldn't get any pets. I think this actually might be my first pet. I don't even think I got a uh, phoenix from doing fire making. It is one of my favorite pets to get in the game though, so thankfully I did manage to get this. Uh, but I have 300 more kills to go. There it is. 3,694 mole kills is where I'm going to be finishing out here. I can't remember if I mentioned this or not, but each one of these is a nest. So adding these together, I have a total of 11,071 nests I can exchange them for. And that's how many toad flax I have. So, so freaking insanely long grind. i um, kind of surprised I was able to put every single one of these kills into a video. Uh, but I am going to be ending this one here. Next video, I'm going to be making all of those cerebrews. And uh, that process is pretty tedious, especially for making 11,000 of these. Thank you guys, as always, for waiting so long for these videos to come out. I do try to put as much content into them as I can. The next video uh, should be able to get out within a week. It's probably going to take me two days to do all the cerebrews. Uh, and then I'll probably just start skill hopping and stuff. So I should easily be able to get that out within seven to ten days. Also, I don't have my mole pet following me right now. I put that in my house because I don't want to forget about it and end up dying to Sporian losing my pet. So uh, that's just going to be staying in my house for now. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in that next video.